Hi, welcome back to the channel. It's been too long. Uh, almost two months since I, my last video, I think. Anyway, it's uh, Tuesday the 1st of uh, August and I'm fishing down at the very picturesque Porlock Weir on the North Somerset coast. It's quite a strong uh, westerly uh, wind. I thought I'd be a little bit more out, out of the way here um, because of the, how the promontory faces, but it's not quite in my face. But anyway, it's not it's not too bad. It's not too bad, and the wind is forecast to uh, to uh, drop off later on. Um, it's 12 o'clock, and um, low tide is in about half an hour. High tide is seven o'clock, and the plan is to fish up to uh, up to high. I've just got some um, bluey sand eel, squid, mackerel, and um, uh, prawns today. No worm baits or crab. And uh, first casts are out. And here we are. We've got uh, Porlock Weir, or West Porlock here, just behind the bank. I'm fishing essentially in front of the cottages where all the boats are parked. You've got a little bay behind there with a little marine, oh, I say marina, little boat tie-ups. And then you've got Porlock there, in the distance behind the rods and then you go round and you've got Hurlston Point there with uh, Bossington where I've done a few videos uh, in the last few months. Anyway, it's just great to be out. Fingers crossed we can catch something for you on camera today. Well, we've got whales over on the horizon there and directly opposite me here is uh, Aberthaw Power Station on the Welsh side and then if we come left down towards uh, Nash Point you might not be able to pick out, you can see the lighthouse there on Nash Point uh, where I've done a couple of videos uh, recently and as I say we, uh, we've done some videos around at uh, Bossington there on the uh, just, just this side of Hurlston Point there in the distance it's half twelve, uh, low tide, no bites as yet. Um, I started off fishing with a rotten bottom, um, but um, baits are coming back okay, no sign of any snags. And looking at the uh, Bristol Channel angling guide on the Veal's Mail Order website, um, there's a good uh, guide there for all Bristol Channel marks and Chesil Beach uh, marks. It basically said that the area in front of the cottages where I'm fishing, just past the about probably 200 yards past the uh, the little little bridge over to them, and past the coffee shops, um, that the ground is clean in front, and that's certainly been uh, the experience so far. Just one one another angler who's just turned up, um, who's fishing to my uh, uh, left, so fishing t westwards. Uh, the, the mark guide said, obviously, towards there, you uh, it gets a little bit snaggier. Um, generally, want to just try and catch whatever I can today. Uh, just nice to be out. Uh, first time fishing for a long time on uh, on, fi on film. So uh, we'll see. Hopefully, uh, we might see the old doggy, um, but something else uh, maybe as well. Obviously, uh, Porlock's a venue where you can uh, bring your bivy very much like uh, Bossington and probably those marks up towards Minehead and etc. Lots of large boulders and pebbles and stuff because the British summer is excelling itself at the moment. Glorious rain shower and uh, it drives all the tourists and dogs back inside which is a good thing. Um, but the fishing is, uh, well, I think I've had one bite and uh, actually I think I've got a bite on the left hand rod there. As I was talking, while well, I was saying I've been fishing for about three and a half hours, no bites. And I think I just had a bit of a take on the left hand rod, which has got a bluey and squid uh, dongle 3 0 Varivar circle hook. 
and see if we'll wait and see if that uh, that develops. Well, the species guide said that there were gurnard here and here's my first Bristol Channel tub gurnard. Look at the beautiful wing on that one. Oh, good. Lovely tub gurnard, probably about half a pound. Let's put him back in. Well, certainly uh, tub gurnard, not a species I was expecting to uh, break the uh, duck with today here at uh, uh, Porlock Weir. Anyway, as I said, it's my first gurnard in the Bristol Channel. Normally they're just reserved for Chesil Beach. So uh, and he took a, <laughs> took a big blue eared squid bait on a dongle. Can't believe it. Anyway, they all count. Uh, as I said, the Veals Mail Order website said that you, you did have a chance of gurnard here. Also place. So uh, what odds for my next one being a, a three pound place on a, on a, I don't know, what have I got there? Squid and sand eel dongle. So uh, let's see, I very much doubt it. Anyway, put a smile back on my face. All right, London buses. Here's another little one, this time on a two hook rig, uh, taking on a bit of mackerel. A little, tiny little, tiny little, uh, well, I'm going to say he's a tub. I'm going to check on that. But look at that lovely, lovely fin. Hopefully you can see that. Let's put him back in. Uh, rigs today. Um, one of the rigs I'm using is a standard pulley panel with a rotten bottom. So I've got a homemade Gemini lead, a 20 pound rotten bottom to a, basically a, a Gemini clip that the weight just sits on like that and comes off in the when it hits the water. I got a an imp swivel and then 80 pound asso main line. Uh, it's bead, pulley bead, bead and then a size 2 crane swivel and then I'm using well this is 50 pound amnesia uh, with a dongle rig uh, I've got a thing aside the 304 Chino on a loop and then the dongle is uh, with a loop on the end is a braid dongle and that's probably about three inches long and that's what basically the, the bigger gurn had fell to albeit it was hooked on the outside of the mouth so uh, but they all count so that's uh, basically that's a sand eel bait that's just come back in completely untouched um, so the uh, gurnard fell to bluey and squid and the little one on a two hook rig which I'll show later he fell to mackerel and squid so anyway we'll keep going and um, it's three hours after low so half tide the tide is pushing in strong it's quite a bit of a swell and waves pushing in there but the wind is, is forecasted to drop so hopefully it will become a little bit more comfortable this afternoon. Just had a bite on the left hand rod. I've just cast out actually. I had a prawn and squid dongle.
I've actually now got bikes on both rods. Well, would you look at that? <laughs> I think that is a tiny... Wow. Well, I think... I think it's a taupe. I'm not sure. But it's absolutely diddy. Ah! What a fish. Caught them this big over at uh, Ogmore Deeps. Anyway, let's put him back in. Well, the other rod that was tapping away while well, I had that little tope just had this tiny strap conger, which probably what more of what I was expecting to catch here today. Anyway, let's put him back in. Here's another massive specimen. Didn't even see the bite on this massive conger. <laughs> Absolutely tiny. It's. Uh, Oop. Seen bigger sand deals. Anyway, let's get him back in. Well, the tide's uh, still got two hours to go, and uh, we're pushed up the bank, we're taken down the bivvy, and the forecast is for heavy rain from about five o'clock onwards. So. Uh, probably gonna call it a day. It's gone a bit quiet actually. Had all those fish sort of mid-afternoon. Uh, successive casts pretty much on both rods and uh, it's quietened down again just that very tiny conga about uh, 45 minutes ago. So it's been a good session. I've quite enjoyed myself here. First time I fished Fall at Weir. I've come back. I think it'll be an interesting venue at night. Very much like Bossington I think. A bit snaggy, I've lost a few traces, even with rock bottom. So if you've got a poor cast, you know, 50, 60 yard chuck like I have, then um, you might lose a little bit of gear or you've got to have a very fast, fast retrieve reel. I think um, I lost a couple of weights and uh, sets of tackle actually coming in on, on snags on the way in. 
So um, yeah, just just bear that in mind. And this down the sort of cottages end is, according to the venue guide, is meant to be the, the least snaggy part. But uh, it's uh, well, I'll let you find out if you come here yourself. Anyway, if I catch anything else, I'll uh, I'll stick it after the outro. But thanks for watching. It was good to be back fishing again. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you all again soon. Take care now. Bye.